two mini bags from Poland, the numero uneno versus nuff mini. Which one will be better for your style and also your habit? Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to find out. channel my name is Aneta if you're new here as the thumbnail and title suggests today I'm gonna be comparing the numero un nano here versus the nerve mini this is actually my second video on pollen handbags but the first one that I'm gonna be doing in full English but for my Indonesian viewers don't worry because I have prepared Indonesian subtitle for you you guys can just go and activate it before we jump on the review and comparison I want to show you real quick so as you guys can see currently I have two pollen numero un nano this one is the camel in lizard embossed uh, smooth leather and the other one is in the nude textured leather and over here I have my nerf with my own uh, chain strap in this beautiful chalk color so if you guys been eyeing the two designs from Polen but haven't been able to make the decision which one you should get hopefully you'll be able to by the end of this video so if you would like to know more keep on watching so let's start with an overview on both bags. So both the Numero Uneno and the Nif Mini, they both come with top handle and also the option of removable and adjustable along strap. The Numero Uneno has this like half moon shape that is covering a pretty strong magnetic closure and also it has a flap and also these two snaps that you guys can open or to be able to fit in bigger stuff to the base of the back easily. And meanwhile, the Nuff Mini only comes with a simple magnetic closure over here. The Nuff Mini, even though it has a wide base, but it doesn't have any feet, which is a shame for me. While the Numero Oneno, as you can see, it has four feet at the base of the bag. The biggest difference for me is that the Nuff Mini doesn't have any inner or outer pocket whatsoever. So it only has this one um, compartment for all your stuff. Meanwhile, the Numero Uneno comes with one uh, inner pocket and also one slim outer pocket back here. And while we're talking about this back pocket, I want to talk about it because I have watched so many review videos on the Numero Uneno and a lot of the reviewers, the YouTubers, complain about this back pocket for a lot of them. This back pocket is useless. It's too small, it's too tight. Well, I don't think there's any official statement from Pollen, but for me, I think I got it right away. This back pocket is actually very, very convenient, very, very perfect for like a metro card or your apartment pass card. So you just have to grab uh, your card from this back pocket to tap in and out instead of opening um, the entire bag to reach in for your card holder or your wallet. And you can also put uh, something similar that you don't want to get mixed up with other things, for example, like your parking ticket back here. Next, let's talk about the capacity of both bags. Even though they are small and even called by Poland as mini bags, but I don't think they are mini at all. Both bags can actually fit comfortably my 11 ounce water bottle that I'm gonna show you. So after wearing both bags, I have to say the Numero Un Nano is better in fitting bulkier stuff, you know, like my uh, traveling praying set in size is quite equivalent to like a normal size pouch. But the Numero Nerf Mini can actually fit more stuff, especially uh, if you carry more like smaller loose stuff like hand sanitizer, uh, maybe face spray, makeup, tissue pack, and things like that. Of course, both bags have no issues in fitting essentials like my card holder, my keys, hand sanitizer, a couple of makeup items, and even my uh, glasses in a soft pouch. Now, I want to talk about the pros and cons of each bag, starting with the Un Nano. Uh, with the Un Nano, uh, the pros number one for me is the capacity. 
even though it looks very very small but it's actually quite spacious and uh, pros number two of course the versatility that you have the option of a removable and adjustable long strap and also the top handle I always prefer when my bag has a top handle and also removable and adjustable long strap and now let's talk about the cons of the bag uh, I don't know why I compare to the Neuf Mini but in my opinion design wise especially in textured leather in some colors the Uneno doesn't look as luxe doesn't look as expensive and second the strap so as you guys can see I don't have the original long strap because I took it off right away especially on the Uneno is really really hard to adjust it's so hard to move holes because the holes are so tight and not only that but this part right here like this leather ring is also very hard to move. definitely experience it with the Uneno in textured leather that the strap would squeak when it's moving against the D-ring and the third con for me will be inconsistencies and I don't think this is as specific with the Numero Uneno but in this case with the Uneno I have seen a lot of bags that come with this leather piece with this half moon shape here being crooked I do have a crooked one but in person it's not that noticeable but in my opinion it's quite a turn off I mean like with the hype of the bag with the price as well it's just Quite a turn off. I personally really, really love the Uneno uh, with the capacity. Like I said, it can easily fit in a bulkier stuff, like my water bottle and my traveling um, praying set, regular size pouch. If those are some of the things that you like to carry with you, along with your essentials like keys, makeup, and phone, I really do recommend the Uneno. And now let's talk about the Neuf Mini. I actually really, really like this bag more than I thought I would because before purchasing this bag, I have watched a lot of review videos and a lot of people complain about the uh, smaller opening. But I can tell you it hasn't been a problem for me, but with a side note, and we're gonna talk about that later. So the first pros for me is I really, really like uh, the feel of the leather. So uh, the Neuf Mini or the Neuf in general, is made out of Poland's uh, pebble leather. I really really do like the feminine design of this bag because I think it really complements my personal style. This is how I would usually dress on a daily basis. I wear uh, a lot of skirts, I wear heels and the feminine design for me just really really works really really complements my style. And the next pro for me is that this bag can easily transform from a day bag to like an evening bag because again because of the design and you guys can see well, what I've done here with my Neuf Mini is that I wear this a lot with my own chain strap and especially with the Neuf Mini I think uh, without any strap it will look beautiful as well and the easy access because you only have this one magnetic closure to reach your stuff you don't have to deal with you know like flap and different buttons in order to grab your stuff so it's just easier in a way so I have just removed the chain strap before moving to the cons of the Neuf Mini I want to talk about this opening because a lot of people uh, have complained about it being too small it's not big big for example like the Uneno or any other bags in general but it's a uh, big enough it's generous enough for me to comfortably uh, pulling out my phone my card holder even my glasses as long as you don't overstuff the bag you know like full to the brim but there's also another thing about accessing your stuff with the Neuf Mini I'm gonna put a picture uh, of my Neuf Mini in chalk that I have here and also in Dune that I decided to sew. I have mentioned about inconsistencies, especially because these bags, small and handbags, are handmade. You guys can see with the handle in Dune, it's quite curvy. It has like pointy edges in the inner part of the handle, and that alone, that difference alone, is actually making it hard for me to put my things in or to pull it out. And because of that alone, I decided to sell that bag. 
And so now let's talk about the cons of the Nuv Mini. The first one will be these corners. Uh, both the Nuv Mini and also the regular Nuv, they all have like this quite prominent corners at the base of the back and of course they do make me nervous. I'm very afraid of you know like bumping to doors, walls or people and just damage it. And the con number two, again, even though the design is beautiful, but um, some of the design uh, decisions uh, of this bag is quite limiting to the capacity. Even though the Nuff Mini is actually longer, uh, technically bigger than the Unano, but because of this opening and because of this uh, part of the design, it's it cannot fit a bulkier stuff like I mentioned. And the third one, of course, I still don't understand why with the base as wide as it is, it doesn't come with feet. Like for me, it's just weird. Now, if you ask me which one I like better, the Nuff Mini or the Un Nano, I have to be honest that I actually always like really really look forward to wear the Nuff Mini more because I think it's just very very beautiful and like I said, it really complements my feminine style but I personally wouldn't really recommend this bag as beautiful as it is if you're more like a t-shirt and jeans and sneakers or flip-flops type of girl because I think it will be too dressy looking it will be too feminine for you I will say if you're not as careful if you don't really baby your handbags I would definitely recommend the Un Nano especially in textured leather because I really really feel like I can not throw around this bag but I don't have to be as careful with this bag it really really feels like scratch resistant and very easy to wipe clean as well so guys those are my thoughts about Roland Nuff Mini versus Uneno hopefully now if you've been eyeing these two designs you can already make a decision of which bag to get or maybe you want to get both which is totally fine I totally get but I will definitely be doing more videos on Roland handbags on their different designs in English so if you're interested please do subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any update thank you so much for watching hopefully this has been helpful and i'll see you next time bye bye